this is Shahid Shah. I'm coming to you live from Health Impact Southeast here in Coral Gables, Florida, where we had uh, ex-NFL offensive lineman Marcus Ogden, who spoke to us uh, about leadership last night. Uh, Marcus, just a quick introduction. Hi, I'm Marcus Ogden, a former NFL athlete, played six years in the National Football League, and I'm here to have a great time and talk a little bit about healthcare and the NFL and technology and how it's going to blend all together. Yeah, great. So we, you spoke to the uh, audience, uh, which is a, a mixture of health system uh, CIOs uh, and other senior executives about uh, a variety of different topics and one of the most important uh, topics in the NFL today has been the CTE or the concussion issue but before getting to that you gave us a little bit of advice about failure about leadership and how to use what you've learned in your life in uh, in leadership lessons for senior executives at health systems talk a little bit about what you shared with the audience last night yeah we talked about the word fail first attempt in learning we all make mistakes in life you learn to learn from those mistakes kind of make the same ones over and over again you can be successful we talked about learn leaders engage and recognize naturally mm -hmm. just don't breathe down people's necks kind of show by example not by talk and that's very important in corporate America and business to be a good leader and be a good you know follower as far as when you see a good leader follow what they're doing but lead by their examples and go from that point going forward no that's great and so when you think about um, so, some of the lessons that the NFL is learning from the CT, CTE issue mm -hmm. about uh, being a bit more transparent right. about making sure that if you made a mistake, I mean the NFL clearly made a mistake sure. by holding uh, information back. So uh, many leaders will go through this effort that they'll fail in certain cases. Sure. What have you, and especially in your latest book, you talk about a, a number of these topics. Yeah. What do you, What do you think the NFL? Uh, lessons here should be that health systems and others can use to to recoup from some of these kind of failures. I think at the NFL and they're doing a great job of investing money and capital back into healthcare, back into programs. Like I went to Tulane University, got my brain and body assessed. They're doing things like that. They're paying everything from the flight, the hotel, the actual cost of the whole event. So doing more to kind of make guys aware of things that can help them better their lives after the game will really do a lot going forward for the goodwill of the former athletes and also for the community showing the NFL actually cares about the athletes getting themselves after football having a life for themselves. Right. Making things right is hard, but it is it absolutely with, right. But you have to, you have to start somewhere. Yeah. The NFL is putting money back into programs. They're really trying to make a difference and they're also basically showing the athletes and the society that they really do care, which is phenomenal. Yeah. That, and that, what was interesting about some of the things you were talking about last night is how many things uh, in the NFL are so applicable to healthcare because it is a team sport. There's Absolutely. Nobody in healthcare, there's no single doctor, there's no single nurse, there's no single institution that can do anything by itself. Right. That's what you learn, you know, basically from, from the day one when you learn uh, football and any uh, team sports. What are some other lessons that you think uh, people in healthcare, which is a team sport, uh, could learn from NFL or other sports? One of the big things is if you're working in a team environment, put your personal agenda to the side for the betterment of the whole team. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Patriots, in my opinion, have won so many Super Bowls on the Bill Belichick. The, he does not allow individualism on his football team. It's all about the team camaraderie, one team goal, and team unison. Mm -hmm. If you work in healthcare or in corporate America or in sports, if you can put those personal agendas and motives to the side mm -hmm. for the betterment of the team, you will have a much more successful brand and much more successful product. Oh, that's great. So you've been our, uh, our spokesman basically for Health Impact uh, for a couple of different events. Uh, have you found us to be much different than um, other events you've gone to? Oh yeah, the, the reason I like coming with you guys is you guys engage your audience. Like, you have them ask questions, you have them kind of be more involved in the process, and that's special because if a person feels you can answer their questions and you actually care about what they have to ask, they're going to be more engaged, they're going to be more involved, and the speeches and the program will go a lot smoother and it's a lot better for everyone attending the event for sure. Awesome. No, And uh, that was th a terrific advice and we're uh, just thrilled to have uh, Marcus here at uh, this event and our future ones as well. Uh, again, this was uh, Shahid Shah from uh, Health Impact Southeast. We're hoping to see you at a future event.